Many Christian women feel like, great, I just have to do boring, stupid stuff. That is to just fundamentally not trust God. If you just look at his creation, the things that he has made, why would he suddenly, when he gets to mankind, top it off with, here is my final act, we'll produce a creature that's never allowed to do anything neat. Feminine glory is fruitful. It produces, it builds, it creates. And it does so in ways that are profound and staggering and surprising and beautiful and frequently messy and hilarious and ridiculous. Fruit is never ever tidy and building things always makes a mess. So keep your eye on the harvest and realize that in this world God made, the mud is an essential ingredient. As we build, as we glorify, as we try to imitate God in our fruitfulness, we should make sure that our vision for what that will look like is shaped by what God himself has shown us and not what minimalist lifestyle magazines claim the beautiful life is. On the other hand, the mud isn't the goal. We're trying to build something glorious and we need to be neither frightened of the dirt nor distracted into thinking the dirt is all there is. So be the glory of your husband. Be the concentrated, intoxicating, incarnate poetry that tells the story of death and resurrection, and then throw yourself into the task of glorifying. Be fruitful, build your house, work hard, be ambitious, be productive, learn more, run harder. Take the gifts God has given you, the desires he has given you, the constraints that he has given you, and then figure out how to weave those into something glorious, something compelling, a beautiful aroma that can't be contained and that beckons a broken world to come and taste to see that the Lord is good.